Uh, hi, today I'm going to talk about WPF I notify property change interface and talk a little bit more about why do we need this interface? When do we use it? Let's create a WPF project. Wheel model bonding is a common pattern WPF use. Let's add a simple wheel model class. And then create this wheel model object and assign the wheel model object to data context. The idea here is like to enable the bonding to the wheel model. Go to the demo. We are going to have a stack panel and text box. Inside this stack panel, the text property bound to the view model name property. And then we add a button to change the view model name property. For the enterprise uh, business application, it's very common that the view model property will be changed. So a lot of time we want the view to be updated when the view model property is changed. We go to code behind and add the button click callback and set the view model name to be Henry. Let's run it and see what happened. As we see, Tom, the initial value is displayed on the text box. That means the bonding works. But what happened when we change the view model name property? Let's click on the button. Nothing changed on the text box. That means the view is not updated when the view model name property is changed. This is where we need to implement the I notify property change interface for the view model. Okay, this is the new model. No view ma new view model looks like. For the I notify property change interface, um, it has a public event, property change event handler. Name is property change. The, um, so we need to add our own property change uh, method. And then this is for raising the property change event. For the name property, for the getter, we are going to return the name. For setter, we need to check if the name not equal to value. We assign the value to name and then raise the property change event and pass the property name to it 
and then let's run the application again and see what happened after this change. So again, the text box has the view model initial uh, name property value Tom, and then see what happens if we change the view model name property by clicking on the button. Uh, the text box text is updated when the view model name property is changed. Let's go back to the code. I want to explain a little bit more about how uh, this I notify property change even works. Uh, as we see for the property change event handler here, we don't have any code that subscribe this event. It looks like the property change event should be always no. But actually, when we assign the view model to the data context, we already set up the um, the data bond, WPF data bonding uh, infrastructure uh, subscribe the property change event handler. That's why uh, this property change uh, event is no longer known. So when the property change, we be able to raise this event for the bonding to use. Thanks a lot for watching the video.